you are listening to the heritage pod presented to you by the heritage group of institutions hi this is shubhrajit ganguly welcoming you all to the knowledge series podcast today we are having with us professor sandeepan ganguly assistant professor department of computer application heritage institute of technology and he is also a passionate archivist welcome sir thank you please take us to the journey of film restoration i would like to begin with the relevant case study the original prints of the opus trilogy were severely damaged in july 1993 due to a massive fire at henderson's film laboratories in south london the fire was destructive enough to damage many of the ray films that had arrived from india on their way for being preserved in the archive of the academy of motion pictures arts and sciences los angeles now the earliest film stocks were made by nitrocellulose which is a highly inflammable compound later came cellulose acetate based safety film as an enhancement which however has also been found to suffer from vinegar syndrome that ultimately caused decay to the raw film stock polyester film based which replaced acetate again suffers from fading colors so there were varying degrees of factor which prevented the early motion picture stocks to be preserved for posterity la imagine ritrovata in bologna italy is the only one of its kind of digital film restoration facility in the world which is capable of restoring even from a brittle and partly burned film strip their strategy is to hydrate the film to make it less brittle repair the splices remove the glue and tape and wax and fix all the sprockets in the case of opus trilogy they made both pinless and pin register scans in wet and dry gate and see what worked best without the use of pins the warped film could possibly move better through the gate on the scanner but it would be less stable than using pin registration this scanned entity would later be subjected to get enhanced while checking the information entropy pixel by pixel hmm interesting now i am more curious to know how film restoration and digital enhancement are associated with motion picture film restoration involves the process of repairing and preserving the original elements of a motion picture film while digital enhancement refers to the use of digital technology to improve the quality and appearance of a film film restoration is necessary because over time film elements can degrade due to various factors such as improper storage environmental conditions and the general wear and tear of handling and projection the degradation of film elements can cause visible signs of damage such as scratches dust and chemical changes to the film base which can result in the deterioration of film quality restoration efforts aim to repair and stabilize the original elements of a film ensuring that the work will be preserved for future generations this is indeed the need of the hour now we would like to know regarding the contemporary archiving communities the archiving community today also consider a superset of the said practice known to be film revisionism in which long completed films are modified with the insertion of outtakes or new musical scores the addition of sound effects black and white film being colorized older soundtracks converted to dolby studio or minor edits and other cosmetic changes being made the restoration of great german expressionist cinema metropolis in 1927 directed by fritz lang is a pivotal example of this in this particular case the resurfacing of long missing three reels from an archive in buenos aires paved the way this is really trivial now we would like to know the process involved while restoring a film the first step in film restoration is the physical cleaning and repairing of the film elements this process involves removing dirt dust and other debris from the surface of the film as well as repairing scratches and other physical damage in some cases 
missing portions of the film can be reconstructed using digital tools. Once the physical elements have been cleaned and repaired, the next step is to stabilize the color and correct any chemical instability. This process involves the use of specialized chemical baths to neutralize any residual chemicals that may cause further damage to the film. Color correction is also performed at this stage where the colors of the films are adjusted to match the original intended look of the film. Once the physical and chemical elements have been stabilized, the film is scanned and digitized, capturing all the information contained on the film. This digital image is then used as the basis for the final stage of restoration, which involves the use of digital technology to remove any remaining signs of damage and enhance the overall quality of the film. Digital enhancement is a use of digital technology to improve the appearance of a film. This process typically involves the use of digital tools to remove dirt, dust and other forms of damage and to adjust the brightness, contrast and color balance of the film. The goal of digital enhancement is to create a clean and stable image that accurately represents the original intention of the filmmakers. Amazing. Now finally we would like to know the techniques involved in digital enhancement. One of the most common digital enhancement techniques is the use of digital noise reduction, which is the process of removing digital noise and other forms of digital interference from the image. Digital noise can be caused by a variety of factors, such as the age of the film, the quality of the scan, the limitations of the digital technology used for capturing the image. By removing the digital noise, the overall quality of the image is improved and the film becomes more stable and easier to view. Another common digital enhancement technique is the use of digital restoration tools such as different softwares and hardwares. These tools allow the restorer to remove scratches, dust and other forms of damage from the image and to adjust the brightness, contrast and balance the color. Digital restoration tools are practically used when working with older films as they allow the restorer to make more precise adjustments to the image and archive a more accurate representation of the original film. In 2002, filmmaker Bill Morrison produced De Cassia, a film solely based on fragments of old, unrestored nitrate-based films in various states of decay and despair, providing a somewhat eerie aesthetic appearance of the film. The film was created to accompany a symphony of the same name, composed by Michael Gordon and performed by his orchestra. The footage used was from old newsreel and archive film and was obtained by Morrison from several sources, such as George Eastman House, the archives of the Museum of Modern Art, and the Fox Movieton newsreel archives at the University of South Carolina. The later ensemble film experimentations of seminal director Jean-Luc Godard, like the image book, also can be considered in this category. In conclusion, film restoration and digital enhancements are crucial practices in the world of motion picture preservation. The goal of both film restoration and digital enhancement is to preserve and enhance the original elements of a film, ensuring that the work will be preserved for future generations to enjoy and thereby to preserve an important artifact of our cultural history. Thank you, Professor Ganguly for this enlightening session. Thank you, thank you very much. That was Professor Sandeepan Ganguly speaking on the restoration process of films. For more content, keep listening to The Heritage Pod. This is Shubhrajit signing off. Presented to you by The Heritage Group of Institutions.